Today, half of them, 10,000 people, are infected with the AIDS virus or already dead from it. How did it happen? In the early 80s, the medicine hemophiliacs took intravenously to clot their blood was contaminated with HIV. The drug companies that manufacture that medicine, medicine called clotting factor, which is made with plasma from blood donors, have always maintained it's a tragedy they couldn't have foreseen. But lawyers for hemophiliacs say not so, that internal documents and depositions from three of the four manufacturers show that by mid-82, as the AIDS epidemic was taking off, companies should have known their product might be contaminated because they'd been making it with blood they should have known was dangerous, blood collected from the very donors most at risk for AIDS, promiscuous gay men. You have to understand that the blood industry is very influential with the FDA. It's kind of, uh, in the 80s, was an old boy club. And the FDA was not about to interpret their regulations to, in any way, cost them donors. And, of course, they were very dependent on gay donors.